handful of extreme radicals have been undermining rule of law, social order, and one country, two systems in Hong Kong. But they have taken cover under the so-called pro-democracy movement to hide their real intention and to whitewash their disruptive actions. This new extremism is both highly deceptive and destructive, while unrest brews regress. Given what is happening in Hong Kong today. Would the UK allow extremists to storm the palace of Westminster and damage its facilities and get away with it? Would the UK give permission for attacking police officers with lethal weapons or set fire to police station without any punishment? Would the UK allow so-called pro-democracy rioters to occupy the airport, obstruct traffic, disturb social order, or threaten the safety and people's life and prosper and the property? Aren't all this regarded as crimes in the UK? It is fair to say the Western media have iris inescapable responsibility for current situation in Hong Kong. I sincerely hope that Western media would reflect on the social impact of their reporting, show their due social responsibilities, and report the situation in Hong Kong in a just and objective manner. I hope they will stop speaking up for the extreme violent offenders, refrain from pouring oil over the flame in Hong Kong, and foster a sound environment of public opinion so that law and order could be restored in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong. And is one of the solutions